Hello friends, here I am again dealing with one of the very very important concepts in mathematics used widely in competitive exams. This is the concept of percentages. Students feel difficulty in calculating percentages because it involves calculations with fractions. I have come up with a method in which you can get rid of those fractions while calculating the percentages. Let us see how we can calculate percentages mentally. The first concept which I would like to stress upon is that while calculating percentages you need to be very clear about what does 1% and 10% of a quantity mean. Mathematically saying 1% of any quantity, say I take the quantity as say 5400, is just obtained by putting a decimal from the right, you select two, two places, 00, zero and put a decimal. So 54.00, it is 54. So 1% of 5400 is 54. Similarly, you can calculate 1% of any quantity orally, you don't need to use fractions like 1% of say 8250 is simply 82.5 because you put a decimal after two places. So this is the concept of 1% which you have to remember while calculating the remaining percentages. Similarly, the concept of 10% is also very important. Suppose you have to calculate 10% of any quantity 9200 then instead of having two digits you select just one digit from the right and put a decimal thereafter so it becomes 920. So 10% of 9200 is 920. One more example say 10% of 5950 just put a decimal after 5. 595. So leave one digit and put one decimal after one digit from the right. So these are the two concepts which you have to remember. Just revise it once more. Say we have 1% of 48. It is 0 0.48 because you put a decimal two places from the right. Then 10% of 120 is 12. 10% 10 of 870 is 87 and so on. So these two concepts if you remember mentally then you can calculate any percentage. Let us now deal with different percentages other than 1% and 10%. Now suppose we have 30% of a quantity say 85. Now when you have to calculate 30% then you have to see 30% as 3 times of 10%. So if you think of 30% then you will have a problem. But if you think of 30% as 3 times 10% then it is easy. 3 times 10%. Now 10% just now I told you you have to put a decimal one place from the right. So 8.5 and now it's very easy 8.5 into 3 is 25.5 so this gives you 30 percent of 85 you don't need to work with fractions no cancelling common factors just have the concept of 10 percent and multiply it by 3 you get 30 percent one more example say you have 70 percent of a particular quantity say 160 now visualize 70 percent as 7 into 10 percent so 7 into 10% of this is 16. So 16 into 7 is 112. This is how we calculate percentages of round figures. Another example, say 45% of 90. Now I will not calculate 45%. I will calculate 40% first. 40% 4 into 10%. 10% is 9. And... I have calculated 40% now, 
but I want 45% so remaining 5% is there if 10% is 10% of 90 is 9 then it's 5% is it's half 4.5 so this gives us 36 plus 4.5 that is 40.5 yet another example says we have to calculate 65% 65% of say any particular quantity 120 now I don't see 65% as 65% I see it as 6 into 10% plus 5% so 6 into 10% of this is 12 plus reduce this to half 6 so 72 plus 6 78 so 65% of 120 is 78 Similarly, when you use the concept of 1%, you can calculate 11%, 12%, 13% of any quantity. Say, we'll have one more example. Suppose we need to calculate 12% of any quantity. Say, the quantity I am taking is 480. 12% of 480. Now, I don't see 12% as 12%. I calculate 10%, that is 48, plus I have remaining 2%, then 2% is twice of 1%, and 1% is obtained by putting a decimal two digits from the right, 4.8. So your answer is 48 plus 9.6, this is 57.6. This is how it goes, friends. It is just the kind of thinking we have towards percentage, the kind of mental set we develop when we see a percentage. The first concept which comes into your mind. Final example, say I have to calculate 31%. Now 31% of say any quantity, I take a typical quantity say 185. Now consider this 31% as 30 plus 1%. Now 30% 3 into 10%. 10% of this is 18.5 this is 30% plus remaining 1% 1% is 1.85 so 18 3 is a 54 and 1.5 55.5 plus 1.85 this gives us 57.35 so 31% of 185 is 57.35 Believe it or not friends, using this method, I can calculate any percentage up to 1%, one per, one per, from 1% to 100% of any number in a fraction of a second. So it needs just a little bit of practice, little bit of uh, patience and little bit of calculation ability dealing with decimals to arrive at these kind of results. Keep enjoying, keep learning, share and subscribe if you like the video.